power in Bridgeport. Currently, it is wired 220, but this unit can also be wired 440. As you can see, this unit has a power feed unit. This is called a lineman power feed. <clears throat> it also we also have a digital unit on here, and only the X axis works. Uh, it came in with no Y axis on it. Uh, it also has a Minotoyo uh, indicator gauge on it, so you can see exactly how many thousands that you are dropping. I always tell people these are only for reference. As you can see, it comes down, bring it back up. These are nice to have, but they're only for reference. Um, if you do not want this, just please let us know before you purchase it. We, I can't take this off, and I'll just put a, a normal uh, ruler on here for you. Like it comes stock with the bridge boards. Uh, the Lyman Power Feed Unit, there is no warranty on these units. Uh, it does work fine. There's no issues, but you cannot get parts for it anymore. So we will not warranty this unit, and we will not warranty the digitals because we did not put them on. Uh, we will warranty everything else on the machine from the head to the bearings to anything else on the machine that breaks within the warranty period. Uh, as you can see, this unit also comes with a splash guard. Um, it's white because it is actually brand new, so the protective film is still on it. It comes with the work light and also comes with all the literature that you need. A uh, tooling manual for a bridge port. It has the original owner's manual for the Lyman power feed unit. So if you do need a, or if you do try to find parts for it, you can. Uh, here is the actual bridge port book. And then actually here is also a table guard and tote. There's two uh, guards in here and they lay on the table and either you can put all your parts in it or they collect chips so it protects the table. This is also all included with the unit. Now this bridge port does not have its own uh, 115 volt power source. So to work the digitals and the power feed unit you're going to have to have an external 110 power supply. If you come back here to turn on your digital box, if you look on the back, it says push on. You would push this for on. For off, you'd move this little red switch. As you can see, the on button pushes out. So for on, we would push this in and come over to the front. As you can see, it's still off. But if you hit clear, it turns right back on. <clears throat> like I said, the Y is, is disabled, so that's why it's not lighting up. As you can see, it works perfectly. It doesn't skip, jump, or garble. Same with the Lyman power feed unit. Uh, to engage this, you have to bring the lever up. Oh, excuse me. I uh, first you have to turn the on and off switch on. Come over here to your jog. And this right here controls your speed setting. Come back this way. Same thing. If you're all the way into slow range and you need a rapid, you can rapid. It also does it in both directions. You have rapid left and right. Now if you notice, there is no hand wheel on this side, and that's how these came with the lineman set up. There is no handle on this side. Uh, but if for some reason you don't want this, you can always just take this off and just put the bracket on and the handle. It's very easy just to convert it back to stock if you do not want the unit or if the unit does fail. And then to disengage, bring the handle down. And that disengages the gear so you can freehand it again. Uh, as you can see with this unit, it's actually in really, really nice shape the ways. If you look, there's virtually no wear on this thing at all. It's in a really, really nice shape. Uh, when it came in, the lube system did not work. So underneath the table here where this rubber hose goes, there's all brand new bleeders in this. The table came off, the carriage came off, all the holes were cleaned, all the lines are blown out. As you can see right here, these are brand new wipers. So for the carriage, there's brand new wipers on the carriage. All uh, the gibbs and everything have been adjusted perfectly. So there is minimal backlash in the, in the table. You can see it goes end to end with ease. This is a really, really nice bridge port. And if you come back here and look at the ways also, now that I have the table all the way forward, you can see it's very consistent all the way back. 
ways are in excellent shape on this. And same on the bottom of the carriage when I had this off and flipped over. There's very minimal wear on this. So whatever they were doing, this unit was always staying in one spot. It looks to me like they were doing a lot of drilling with it. Bring this back a little bit. And you can also see uh, this does come with some collets and tool holders. And it comes with a drill arbor also. Turn your unit on, always make sure it's in gear. Excuse me, I'm going to turn the power on real quick. Come over here and you turn your power on. You can see it's in good shape, it sounds nice. <clears throat> Let's reverse. You can see it knocks off with these. This unit knocks off on the upstroke also. You see reverse the feed. The feed's going up. You have three different rates of feed. You have medium, slow, and fast range. You can see it's coming up. You can see it knocks off with ease. And this is your brake. Now to switch, you'll bring the shifter away from you, come over to in, and you always want to wiggle it to make sure that you are engaged. Now you're in your low range. Forward, as reverse. And just to clarify, this unit is a step pulley. And that means to change the, the speeds, which I'm not going to be changing speeds on this unit, you would loosen this. Motor slides forward, you drop the belt down to wherever you need. <clears throat> this tells you right here where all your spindle speeds are, right on the front tag right here. It's with your high and low, all your different ranges. Then after you change your belt, just bring it back, tighten this, and you're ready to go. And also with your feed, if you want to disengage your feed, you bring you disengage the worm and now your feed is completely disengaged. To re-engage, do the opposite, and now it's re-engaged again. This is our one horsepower bridge port.